Hi, I'm Chef Gary. And I'm Leslie with Tyson Foods. We're here today to look at a couple different menu ideas to show you versatility across your menu portfolio, to look at different products, different grains, to utilize all the ingredients you have in your pantry to make simple and easy recipes. And not only are we gonna show you one, we're gonna show you four with four different proteins. We're gonna start out with a roasted drum. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take these roasted drums and we're gonna use a ranch seasoning. So we're looking at about a half of a teaspoon, just on average. So I'm just gonna use a shaker and dust these. There's another technique you can use. And if you pop them out of the freezer, I personally think you should slack these. That way you're not gonna really darken the outside. So when you pop them out of the freezer and you're slacking, they're gonna have a stage where they're gonna have some, uh, so they're gonna get wet, they're gonna perspire a little bit. That's the perfect time to add that seasoning. The seasoning is then going to stick to the drum and then when you fire that in the oven, it's gonna stay. So with that being said, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. So now we've got the mac and cheese. So your manufacturer, you'll wanna read the directions on your manufacturer with your pouch of cheese, whoever you may be getting that from. So we cooked off the pasta and we added the cheese pouch to the pasta. Now we're gonna make it buffalo style. So. So this is incorporating very traditional American flavors. Absolutely. Got ranch and buffalo. So we have ranch, buffalo. Obviously that's probably uh, the biggest kid's choice if they're gonna order boneless wings or bone-in wings is ranch with their buffalo wings. So this is a great way to take comfort food up to a whole new notch. Is correct. All right. You can see a little bit of the red hue in there. That's fine. You don't want to overpower it. We're not looking for a flaming hot. We want that, that nice taste of that buffalo sauce. All right. I think our drum should be done. All right. So we're gonna throw this in. Uh, we're gonna throw this in our to-go packaging. I have it ready. All right. Beautiful. We're gonna serve this with just a small side salad. So. Ah, there we go. I mean, <laughs> bottom line, this is comfort food. And uh, kids today, they're looking for comfort food, and they're less likely now to uh, be adventuring out trying newer things. All right, let's build this. Oh, great. We're going to uh, lay down our buffalo mac and cheese first. And we've got our nice side salad there already waiting. Well, I love that you're using our all-natural drumstick. This thing is great, just oven roasted, so you can take any seasoning you put on it. And I love that you used the ranch today. Yeah, and uh, you can glaze this with barbecue sauce, mm. teriyaki sauce, sriracha, you name it, and just give like it, it any any type of flavor profile that you want. I love it. So we put in the mac and cheese, top that drum on there, we have our side salad. Now the student can go home and heat, reheat this. It can be served cold, it can be served hot. But either way, take it home, eat it there, and it's easy to pack up. You can pack this stuff ahead of time. You could have several of these packed up ahead of time. Grab and go, take it home, preheat, and eat it in the comforts of their own. All right, so we just finished up our buffalo mac and cheese and our drum. Uh, now this is a great rendition of comfort food. Everybody's familiar with all of these flavors. I like that, and I love that you mentioned comfort food. We know right now kids are really looking for comfort food and familiarity, so I think this is a great way to bring that trend into the menus and continue to, to keep the kids coming back for more. All right, so we have four different concepts with four different proteins. We have our roasted glazed buffalo mac. We have our hot and spicy po boy, we have our Texas barbecue wrap, and we have our spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, delicious. I love that you use the all natural uh, roasted drumstick in this one. That one takes so many different flavors, whatever seasoning or sauce you put with it. So I'm really excited about that one. And the golden crispy boneless wings you used in the po boy is perfect. Yep. So it's like five to a serving. So that's a huge sandwich. Yes. All white meat made with whole muscle, yum. And then you use the hot and spicy patty in the sandwich, so it really kind of kicks it up a notch with that heat in there. So it's delicious, and I know kids love the hot and spicy patty. I feel like chicken sandwich day is always one of the most popular. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Of course. <laughs> and then the sliced beef in the wrap. What better way to do Texas barbecue than with beef? I, I love it. I so that's all beef, no soy, very clean. I love that product. Well, let me tell you how I came up with these flavors. We have a, uh, a po' boy. So I, I mentioned we're using the same pantry items. So on this po' boy, we're using a boneless wing. Very juicy, very tender, very crisp. So we're gonna top that with our slaw. Now our slaw, we used uh, 
the shaved cabbage, carrot. Now you can get this as a blend, but you can also, you, if you're gonna put your carrots on your side salad, you may wanna have them separate any way you'd wanna do it, but you can get the blend as well. So then we took ranch in buffalo sauce. That became the dressing for your coleslaw. That gets topped on top of your po' boy, and there you have another concept using the same items. So moving over to uh, our sliced beef. Sliced beef, same thing. So you put your matchstick carrots, your cabbage, and then you take your ranch and your barbecue sauce. So now you have a whole different flavor profile, but you're using the same items, but you're using barbecue sauce instead of the, instead of the hot sauce. I love that you're using different regional American flavors. That, that really helps bring to life that true traditional American comfort food. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you. And good call out. <laughs> so then uh, we ha at our last, we have our spicy chicken patty. So pretty much the same thing here. All we did is we didn't put any hot sauce or barbecue into the slaw. We made the slaw and then we topped it with a white queso or a white cheese sauce and barbecue sauce. But it's not a blend, it's like having two sauces. So there are four different builds off of the same items that you have in your pantry. And if you have a rotating menu, it's gonna help you on labor, it's gonna help you on cost. And most importantly, you can do this stuff ahead and cold. I wouldn't build these po' boys up ahead of time, but this slaw, you can make these slaws three days in advance. They have a great three day shelf life. And a lot of times you're gonna enhance the flavor as time goes by. This is also great if you're pre-portioning, if you're not gonna put the slaw or the topping on the sandwich or the wrap, it can go on the side in a container and you could have hundreds of these containers made up ahead of time. Oh, I like that. So you could almost do this as a build your own. Just put the bread and your, your five boneless wings in the bun, put your slaw on the side and let the kids make it themselves. 100%. Oh, I love that. Just want to share a little bit that what we're coming out with at Tyson. I think a lot of people have seen our red uh, chicken sandwich bag that is available at Cool School. I think everybody knows that. But one we are really, really excited about is we now have a wrapper coming out. So you can see our Let's Eat new logo coming with that. It's just a 12 by 12 parchment sheet, almost craft paper. So this one will be great to use in the microwave. You guys won't have to worry about any issues like that. You can wrap the sandwich up. I think Gary has shown us a couple ways to do this in the past, but you can actually wrap the sandwich up, freeze it, and then it's ready for a, almost like an individually wrapped sandwich. But this wrapper will hold up to a lot of stuff. So we're really excited for you guys to check that out pretty soon. And then some of our other packaging here, we've talked to a couple different companies, but these kind of packages, I wanna say it's in a pack and you guys can find this at any distributor out there. And as Leslie had mentioned, uh, like the IW, pre-wrapping and, and stuffing it in your freezer, saving it for a different day. Very simple, parchment paper, you don't need butcher paper. And it's uh, if you thaw it out, like let's say you pull that out and slack it hours or maybe a day in advance, you're looking at about 50 seconds. If it's solid frozen, you're looking at about a minute and 20 seconds. So you can modify this stuff and, and well, depending on your microwaves, of course, or uh, you know, the students, pretty much everybody's gonna have a standard microwave at home. So you will have basic instructions for anybody and you can really get ahead of the game by doing it this way. I love it. So these are some great options you've shown us and I'm glad we got to look at some new packaging and I hope this helps you guys come up with some new ideas on how to use basic ingredients in your pantry in multiple ways. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone. <laughs>